everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is I have a Christmas haul for you guys. <laughs> yes, 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 I know. I need to finish my fall decor. I've got a little story I need to tell you. Uh, I need to finish my fall decor outside. I need to get up a home tour somehow, some way. Uh, but before I go further, I need to let you guys know that I have, again, hurt myself. <laughs> what can I say? Uh, Chris and I went up on the day before yesterday, and we took my dad to his post-op appointment. And I was in the back, sitting in the back seat, and Chris pulled into, uh, it was actually a handicap uh slot, you know, parking slot, and I needed to unfurl myself from the back seat of the car. Now, let me tell you, before I went to my dad's, my knee was like almost perfect, you guys. I am telling you, I had healed beautifully. It was almost perfect. I have arthritis in my knees. It's bad, you guys. Then after being with my dad, you know, and, do, and working and up and down and doing all that, it was slightly sore when I got home. Well, when I went back, and, and twisted myself into a pretzel to get out of the car. And Chris was like, Arlen, just wait. I'll pull out so you can get out. Just wait, just wait. And I'm like, no, I've got it. You know, as I'm like, ur, 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 ur. and boy, howdy, I twisted my knee and my lower leg, you know, everything I twisted. So I'm icing, I'm Advilling, and, you know, I'm taking good care of myself. I, I can obviously handle doing a haul video, uh, but as far as me doing any kind of decorate with me videos or a home tour for that matter, it's probably just not going to happen. I'm going to have to do reveals. And what I might ask Chris to do is to walk around and take the vignettes. I know that you guys prefer it when I talk in my home tours and then do kind of an all over like evening tour. You know, and that's the way I usually do my tours during the day. I walk around and I talk about things and then I do an evening, you know, tour just with the with the lights on, just set to music, you know. So Chris and I will see what we can come up with in the next week or so with uh, the outdoor decor and with a home tour. But I know that I'm going to be pretty much down for the count for for a little bit of time here. Please don't tell me to go to the doctor, you guys. Please, please, please. I know that if it does not heal, that I may need to go to the doctor, but please don't, don't tell me that I need to do that. I am very well aware of what I need to do and I can take care of myself. <laughs> so please, you know, don't worry about me. I will be fine and uh, it, it's going to be fine. So anyway, enough of that. I just wanted to let you know what's going on. So you're not disappointed if I do come back with reveals or that I'm not doing a decorate with me. I had one lady really complain at me one time that, you know, uh, when I had originally hurt my knee that I wasn't doing my DIYs and she wasn't interested in watching. And, and I was like, I'm doing the best I can. Y'all can be sure that I always do the best that I can, always, every day, you guys, every day, and that includes my videoing, I just don't do anything halfway, I do it to the best of my ability on that day, you guys, so please do say a prayer for me, I would appreciate that, <laughs> but let me tell you about my dad's post-off uh, real quick here before I get started, I did get my hair did yesterday, and I managed to uh, get my shower and get my makeup on anyway today. That was a, that was a little task, but I did it. <laughs> uh, but she didn't give me any more blonde, but she sure did. It makes it pop when she puts the dark, you know, my regular color back on. So I'm really, I'm really loving it. She really, she just trimmed it up, just cleaned it up, you know, didn't cut much off of it. It's still getting pretty long in the back there. I don't know what it looks like. I don't know how I did, <laughs> but it is still pretty long. So I'm loving it, you guys. I'm loving it long, and it's going to stay long. So, uh, but anyway, my dad's post-op uh, appointment went fantastic. He walked in without a cane and without his walker. Yes, he did, and walked back, and the doctor took his stitches out, said he's doing great, uh, and, it's, you know, kind of released him. He does have to go back in a month for one more, uh, one more recheck. Uh, he started rehab, outside rehab, 
yesterday and met with his rehab uh, little lady that's going to be helping him with his rehab. And he only has to go for four weeks, two times a week. So he was pretty happy to hear that. He was pretty happy to hear that, you know. So he's doing very well, you guys. He's doing very, very well. So, uh, but we went to visit him and then we went to visit uh, Chris's mom and his brother and then we stopped by at Kristen. So we were all over the place the other day, um, going from hither to yon, visiting family and, you know, uh, taking care of a few things here and there. So as I told you guys, and then yesterday I had my hair, appointment and driving really bothered me yesterday. That's what kind of what set my, my knee over the edge as I drove myself over to get my hair done. And, um, the stop and go traffic, moving my foot from the, you know, from the accelerator to the brake. I didn't feel it as I was doing it, but when I got up from sitting at my hairdresser's, you know, in her chair, I was like, Oh gracious. So Anyway, I'm going to be fine, you know, and uh, we're just, we're just going to take it one day at a time, sweet Jesus. That's all I'm asking of you. I'm just going to take it one day at a time, you know, that's all I can do. And in the meantime, we're going to do a Christmas haul. So let me tell you, I went into Hobby Lobby the day before we went to my, to, up to take my dad. Like I said, my knee's been pretty good, pretty good. Went in there and I did shop around for uh, what I'm going to show you today. And I also, from Hobby Lobby, and I also have something from Amazon too. Uh, let me let you know, for those of you who might have just joined me, thank you so much for subscribing. If you have just subscribed and are just joining me, and this might be the first time you hear me speaking about my Christmas decorating. Uh, I kind of split the house in two zones for my Christmas decor. And as you all know, I really have worked hard about with my blue and white decor and making it one cohesive design throughout this main level of our house. The kitchen is behind the camera there. And this is how you, this is the kitchen eating area. And, that's and then the dining room is, is right here. And uh, you kind of go around and come back out. So, you know, the staircase really makes it so that I can cut this house in, in kind of in two zones. So on this side of the house, family room, kitchen, kitchen eating area, I use red, white, and gold. And I'm still collecting reds, whites, and golds. I used to have burgundy, a lot of burgundy, and I got rid of it, took it to Goodwill a couple years ago. And I have been building on my red, white, and gold decor for the last couple. Last year, really, I got serious about it and got rid of all of the whatever remaining burgundy that I was using, I got rid of it. And uh, it was stunning in here with the red, white, and gold last year. So a couple of things I have here are going to augment that decor. Uh, and then on this side of the house, last year I got a blue Christmas tree. Let me show you that, a blue and white Christmas tree. So, But it's not like the blue cobalt blue. It's not like this blue. It's like a lighter, dusty blue almost. Uh, white, blue, that color blue, white, and kind of a silver, uh, snowflakes, very light and airy decor, uh, good many whites, good many silvers, and the blue is an accent. So as you can see, this tree turned out just beautifully. It just turned out just, and I got that tree at, at home. That is a flocked blue and white tree. I got that at, at home last year. I have no idea if they'll still have it this year or not. So... But that's where I got that last year. And I'm still building the, that like powdery blue decor too. So one of the things I'm going to share, a couple of things I'm going to show you will go in those rooms. So that's just to tell you, uh, Christmas is my absolute favorite time of the year to decorate. Not only because of the reason for the season, Jesus is the reason for the season, uh, but also because I just love the colors and the festive feel that Christmas brings, you know? Uh, I love my fall decor, don't get me wrong, I like decorating for fall, but Christmas is the ultimate and everything will be switched out in this house, including like my kitchen curtains, they get switched out. Every shelf, every vignette, every you know centerpiece will be remade or, or switched out for something else. Uh, so everything gets changed out for Christmas. So please stick around, share my channel with your friends, let them know Christmas decor will start over here probably after uh, Halloween right after Halloween. And uh, 
we're gonna get started on doing some Christmas decor, some Christmas decorating, and I can't wait. I'm really looking forward to it this year. So, but anyway, let's get started on this haul. Uh, we'll start with Hobby Lobby, and uh, I went in there just looking again for red, white, and and gold accent pieces, and I got these couple of little deer, gold deer, with a, a red bow around their neck and a wreath, kind of like a green wreath around their necks with a pretty bow and bells there. Everything is, all their Christmas already is 40% off and this was regularly $24.99, but already 40% off, which I was pretty impressed with Hobby Lobby. This is early in the year for them, I think. Maybe last year they did it early, but most years they wait for a while to get their Christmas on, you know, on sale and we're all clamoring for it to go on sale. But this year, you know, I think, I feel like it's pretty good. I also got this little one laying down. She was $19.99 or he or she was $19.99. So I got the pair. So, so pretty. I, they obviously will go on this side of the house somewhere with the gold, but I'm not sure where they'll go. I don't have a specific place in mind for these. I was just going for more accent pieces. So I got those two. Then I got myself a, a joy. This is wooden, just a joy sign. <laughs> and it was $14.99, 40% off. So, and as I say, it's wood. This will probably end up right here in this hutch somewhere, or somewhere on a black piece that is going to pop that red, you know? I love the true red of Christmas. I got that. I didn't get all that much now that I look at it. And I did get this, all is calm, all is bright, just a little star. And it was 40% off of $3.99. And then I came across, this. these were on an end cap. And I just thought this was so pretty. And they had all kinds of different things inside of this. And as you all know, I have a, I, mean, I could even turn you around and show you. I have, well, I'll just show you in a picture, it's easier, so I don't mess myself up. I have two lanterns that I found at and that last year, and they are up on this black shelf over my ivy table all the time. So I thought it would be super pretty to get something like this to go beside one of them. And it is like, that's glitter inside. Isn't that pretty? This is a heavy little dude, y'all. I mean, it's hard for me to hold this up, but isn't that pretty? It's plastic. It feels like plastic. Of course, I'm pressing the, it says press here. So I'm pressing the button. It takes batteries. Yeah, it looks to be like two AA batteries. But anyway, you know me, I love my cardinals. And, you know, I'll get some more cardinals out and put them over there. But I just thought this would be very pretty to sit with those lanterns. So, so pretty. It was pricey too, but I thought it's worth it, you know? So I love this. So then one more thing from Hobby Lobby. As a, um, I'm fibbing, two more things. So I got one more Christmas thing that is special. I want to show you that last. So, but here came Chris. <laughs> he was, he had gone in to come in, gone to the bathroom. And on his way back from the bathroom, he picked up pipe cleaners because he knew I needed black and brown. So he picked me up two, two bags of pipe cleaners. And they were $3.99. I do not know whether they were on sale or not, but $3.99. So you can always use pipe cleaners. Thank you, Chris, for picking up my pipe cleaners. He's waving. He just walked in. <laughs> and if it weren't for him, I would not be doing this video, you guys. He collected everything for me. He sat me up. He sat my camera up. He did everything, you know? So I'm telling you, I couldn't do my channel without him. Just when I'm doing my decorating. But on days like this... I couldn't have either without a lot of, a lot, a lot of effort. So, but anyway, the last thing I got from Hobby Lobby, which I just fell in love with and was way up high on, you know, how they put things up on, up on like racks where you can't reach them. So Chris was in there with me and we found a, a worker, Hobby Lobby worker, and she came with a ladder and she got this down. 
but I bought this to go in my living room between the two uh, little lane recliners that I have in there, uh, in between the windows. And I just thought this was just beautiful. Look at the deer with the powder blue and white decor in there with that blue and white tree. Won't that be stunning? So I love it. And this was $50, but 40% off, you know. I haven't bought anything Christmassy like this for in there, you know, to, to replace a wall. I think I had made a wreath one year, but uh, it do doesn't match. So anyway, I just thought this was super pretty. Love it. So, Hobby Lobby. I can't wait to start decorating for Christmas. I really can't. I love decorating for Christmas. All right, now, y'all know I did that really big arrangement on my dining room table this year for for fall. And a lot of you have been asking me, Arlene, are you going to do something like that for Christmas? And yes, I am. I decided I am. And I have even decided what I'm going to use uh, that I already own here for that uh, centerpiece. And for the center, I'm going to use a really pretty kind of lacy, if I can find pictures, I'll put them here as I'm talking about them. Kind of a lacy lantern. It's large. I got it from Pier 1 before they closed on a deep discount. And I'm going to use that as my centerpiece. I'm going to keep the trays in place, but I'm going to use that white lantern right in the center. And then I have two tall Christmas tree, kind of resin Christmas trees that I'm going to put in either uh, tray on either side. And then I'm going to fill in with, I've got another order coming in from Hobby Lobby actually uh, next week. So I'll show you when that comes. And I've got big uh, tufts of, flocked pine and two of those will or two or four of those will go you know down the trays and then I did buy some more from Amazon some more flocked pine pieces uh, to fill in with because I want it to be very light very airy uh, with a touch of the blue which I'll come back to these and white and I've got some snowflakes coming too. So I, I, I just love flocked. Of course it gets everywhere, but once it's in place, and, and yes, yeah, somebody had said you can spray hairspray on these. I don't know, actually some, one of you said something, but you can spray like Aquanet on these. I did it to my whole tree. One lady warned me, oh, your tree's gonna turn yellow. My tree did not turn yellow. I have a pencil tree that's flocked, completely flocked. And I sprayed it like crazy with Aquanet before we brought it in. A, a little pencil tree that sits over here by the ivy table for Christmas. And it is still as white as the day we bought it. So in my opinion, Aquanet hairspray does not make things yellow. So I will probably spray these before I work with them. It doesn't, it doesn't stop all of the crying of the flocking, but it sure does help. It does help. So I will take those out and spray them off before I start utilizing them. But anyway, I also bought a package of these very pretty blue poinsettias. And these come with uh, their own stems that you just have to, you know, unfurl here. And these are glittery as all get out. I'll probably spray these too. Oh my goodness. But that's what I will put with the flocking, you know, around that whole arrangement on the uh, on the table. If I can find a tablecloth, Christmassy tablecloth, this color, I may buy it and use this that that table. I always have a tablecloth on that table in there as my base, or I may I already have one with uh, silver that's white and silver with snowflakes. I may go ahead and use that. I'm not sure what I'll do. But anyway, so I got these. I can't remember. I think this is a set of 12 or 24. 12, I think, in here. I'll flash it up there and tell you. And they are very, goodness gracious, glittery. <laughs> glitter, glitter all over the place. So I got those. And then I got a different kind that are white here. I think these are a little larger than the blue. 
again from Amazon. And again, I'll tell you guys, they, they have beautiful things on Amazon. I'm very impressed with their foliage. <laughs> Aren't they pretty? So I think that is going to be a stunning setup out there. I'm not sure what else I'll put in with it. If anything, I may just do the flock pine and the, and the blue and white poinsettias and call it a day. I may see if I can find, you know, I, and I have snowflakes coming. So snowflakes will be stuck in and around. If I can find maybe a couple of snowmen uh, or something like that to add to it, uh, maybe a couple of Jim Shore uh, snowmen or Santa Clauses. I do have some, but I may look for something else like that. So, you know, my mind is still working through that centerpiece, but it is gonna be big and bold and large and in charge. And I hope beautiful fairy lights running through it. Hopefully that will really make a big statement. Hopefully. I'm looking forward to trying that. But I'll probably decorate this whole side of the house before I get to that table. <laughs> so I've got a little while. Uh, also from Amazon, I got, I've got glitter all over me and all over the table in front of me here. Goodness gracious. But I also bought some red, some just like the white ones, but just in red poinsettias to go on this side of the house here and there and I don't have these I, mean, I didn't buy these for anywhere specific I just bought them to have them because I knew I don't I don't have a lot of red I don't have a lot of like red foliage red and white and gold so that as far as Christmas is concerned is all I got to get ready for Christmas um, but as I told you guys we are going to the beach in mid-October and uh you know what Chris just told me to you guys? I cannot believe this. But he said, oh, by the way, your birthday present's going to arrive tomorrow. And I said, what are you talking about, my birthday present? My birthday present's our trip, isn't it? Well, yeah, 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 yeah. But I got you the new iPhone 13 something, something, something. I'm like, you did what? Yeah, huh? Really? Oh, my goodness. And he said, well, he says, I've got a, um, a he said, I need a new phone. <laughs> he said, so I think I'm going to take your phone and give you uh, the, the, the nicer and newer iPhone, because I do all of my videoing with my iPhone. You guys, I have DSR, uh, DSLR cameras that I could use and whatever. But for me, my, my iPhone is the most convenient and, uh, I love it. And the microphone on my 12 has been fabulous. Hopefully it'll be just as good. And Chris says it is on the 13 and he, he said the cameras are even much better and you can do more with the pictures and, and all kinds of stuff. So I don't know about all the bells and whistles. I'll try to maybe come back and tell you about that next week. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I got myself for the beach. I got myself a little hat. Now I'm not going to put this on here, but I just, this is a packable hat. Stacy had one of these and she said, these are like a packable hat. You put your hair back, you know, like in a ponytail, look at the back of it. Isn't that cute? You know, put your hair back in a ponytail, stick the hat on, put a pair of uh, sunglasses on, and you're good to go. And this is also, uh, you can tighten it up. You can put this around your chin if it's too windy out, which we all know it gets on the beach. Make I this do. one tighter, I don't think. Oh, yes, you can. There is a little piece here that you can pull. I have a, believe it or not, I know I, I look like I have a big head because I've got all this hair. <laughs> but I don't. I have a little head. Go figure. I'm such a big lady, but I have a little head, little hands, and not. And my feet are eight and a half, nine, which for my height and girth is not that big. So anyway, uh, but anyway, this does have a little little tab in here that you can pull and make it tighter. You know, pull it tighter around your head. So cute little cute little uh, hat that I love to wear on the beach. I love to wear a hat on the beach to keep the sun off my face too much. And invariably, you still get salt on your face, you know. But anyway, I just got that, so I thought y'all might like to see that. And that, my friends, is that with all I'm going to haul. Uh, but again, I'm really excited about getting started with my Christmas. I can't believe I'm talking about going to the beach and Christmas in the same video. But that's what's happening in my life. So as I promised, I always bring you what is going on in my life for sure. So... Warts and all, bad knees and all, you know? I'm not getting any younger, you guys. Turning 60 in, uh, in, in a couple of weeks here. Today's October the 1st. 
Oh my goodness, I can't even believe it. I can't even believe it. You know what my dad kept saying? He kept saying, oh, he said, Arlen, he said, when I look down at my knee and I see that it's, you know, I've got my stitches out now and it's healing. And he said, I'm so glad to be in this place at this time and that I'm not facing that surgery. Not that he was ever worried about the surgery. He just wanted to get it over with, you know, and start on the recovery. And he is really, really, really doing well. So, but that's what he said. So I'm kind of glad to see the, the calendar click over to October. Happy October. Okay, I do have a question or two, I think. Oh my goodness, I've got glitter everywhere. I'm sorry if I'm sparkling at y'all. Let me get my computer up here. I did write a blog this morning too, y'all. Can you believe it? I really did. Uh, maybe I'll get, well, there's always a link. Uh, you can find it on my, my cover shot right above this video or, or somewhere on my cover shot on my channel. But here I just did a, a blog about my, uh, my blue and white and burnt orange decor. Oh. And I just show all my pictures, you know. I just did this this morning. I have, one, I have one question here in my stickies. I thought I had more, but I'll go in and check in my studio. So, and this is just, uh, you know, a question that I get asked a lot. And I don't know whether my eyes look blue today, but I have... I mean, my, and a lot of people are going, your eyes can't be that blue. You know, you wear blue contacts. <laughs> no, my eyes are the same color blue probably every time you see me. Uh, sometimes they're brighter depending on if the sun is shining in my eyes, you know, and what I'm, depending on what I'm wearing. If I wear blue, they look bluer. When I'm sitting over here, I tend not to look as blue because it's different lighting over here. But my eyes are true blue. They are very, very true blue. And uh, I just had one lady, she said, her name is Ariella Hancock. You have such beautiful eyes. Thank you so much. Uh, do your daughters have blue eyes? And they do. They do. Well, Candace does. Candace has, neither one of my girl's eyes are as light blue as mine. Candace's are a darker blue and she's got a dark rim around her eyes. Beautiful eyes. And Kristen's actually are more like her daddy's. Kristen's eyes are green. And Chris's eyes, but they look, Kristen's eyes can look blue. They can look green. They can look turquoise. They kind of change colors. Her eyes are beautiful. She's got some beautiful eyes. So both of my girls have beautiful eyes. So, you know, yeah, they do. They, you know, with Chris and I, both, you know, in the blue, green hue, our kids were bound to. Although my mom had brown, so brown is dominant. Y'all know you remember all that stuff, so. Yeah. Well, let me go in here. So, yes, to answer your question, yes, they do. Well, Kristen's more green, as I said, than blue. But uh, let me go in here and find my studio. Chris even ordered me a, a cell phone. Let me take a screenshot of it here and show you. He even ordered, ordered me a case, you guys. He got me the iPhone 13 Pro is what he got me for the phone. And then this is the case he bought me. He even bought me the case. He is so sweet. He's so too good to me, you guys, I'm telling you. And let's see, back in here too. Okay, I had one here from Becky Stewart. She said, what an inspiring story about your dad. I could sit and watch your you for hours. That is so sweet. <laughs> I was looking in your Amazon shop, hoping to find the clippers you use. Did you purchase them local? Thank you for another viewing of your masterpiece. Well, thank you so much, Becky, and thank you for that question. And I did leave you a link. Uh, I do have a link for my, I call them my snippers, and they are just wire cutters, you know. I do have a link for those all the time in the description box of every video I put up. It's one of my default settings because I don't have it in my Amazon shop because honestly, I couldn't find it for cheaper on Amazon than I did at Home Depot. So the link that you see in my description box is from Home Depot for my, for my wire cutters. So I just let her know that. Let's see what else here. Uh, so happy to hear that your dad is, this is from Linda Lance. So happy to hear, uh, your dad is doing so well. Love your swag and how it came out. Gorgeous. I have a question. When is your home supposed to be a country sampler? Take care and see you next time. I know when it's supposed to be in Country Sampler. Yes, I do, but I can't say quite yet. But I have been, I have been approached 
uh, and, and let know when, when my spread is going to go into country, country sampler. And I, when my dad was actually having, recovering from his surgery, uh, I had my interview uh, with the writer. So uh, I did it all via email. She said, I said, it is not a really good time for me to do an interview right now, a phone interview. I had family coming and going and I was up and down and doing stuff. And she said, uh, I said, could I try to do it via email? And she said, absolutely, absolutely. Let's do it via email. And if I need clarification, then maybe we can talk quickly. I said, absolutely, that would be fine. Well, apparently I was very uh, descriptive and she said, these are great. These are great, you know, so... I uh, got that done too. Well, I've been a busy lady, you guys. It's been crazy. But yes, I do know, but I can't really say quite yet. I will let you know as we get closer. I promise you. I promise you. So, uh, but it is happening. It is definitely happening, you guys. I am so humbled and touched by that. And I just get goosebumps every time I think about it. I just feel so lucky and, and fortunate that, that they chose our home to be featured. Not just a picture or two, but our home to be featured and be interviewed and all that kind of stuff. That's what a what an honor, what an honor. So, okay, let's see. Uh, this is from Diane Shepard. Welcome home, Arlen. The lantern topper is gorgeous, love it. Are you still going ahead with your pool? Not heard an update for a while. Uh, and then she's talking about uh, Maverick, what a little chatterbox, isn't he? <laughs> he does get to talking. Uh, we sure are. We are, we have signed a contract. Uh, just haven't, we're kind of in a, in a waiting period right now because they're not going to start building the pool till probably May or June, which I of course will bring you all along for the whole process. I promise you, I promise you, but yeah, we are under contract of giving them a down payment, the whole, the whole shebang there. So we are definitely getting a pool and it will definitely be going in. Hopefully I can't say definitely because we're in the queue and they had, however many pools in front of us, you know, but he, he estimated May or June next year when we signed the contract. So, uh, then another lady asked me about, I have three different ribbons and I want to make a fairly large bow. This is Julie Winnegar. I hope I pronounced that right. <laughs> How many loops should I do? 18, six pieces of each is that the method? Thanks. So what I did is I gave her a link to one of my uh, funky bows that I made in my uh, Bow Making 101 playlist. If you guys want more specific answers to how to make bows like that, it's really hard for me to sit here and tell you, oh, we'll make them all 18 inches long and, you know, uh, let's do a 9 loop or 12 loop or 16 loop you know, uh, cut this much of each ribbon. It's difficult for me to do that. It's easier if you go ahead in there and check out those videos. Uh, I, they are just of me making a bow in each video. I think I do do make one into a topper. I think the 16 inch for Candace, one of Candace's wreaths. I think I, I think I do do a bit of a topper in one really pretty. Actually, I was really happy with how that one turned out. Uh, but basically all the, those videos are, they're not super long. They're just of me teaching one specific bow in each of the videos. So I encourage you guys who are still wanting to learn how to make the funky bow, the tiered bow, or the round bow uh, to go on in there and check out my Bow Making 101 series playlist. It is always, there, it is always linked in the description box of my videos too, you guys. So... Of course, too, I will put all, everything I got from Amazon in a, a Christmas Amazon gift box. I'm going to open a new one right now, a gift idea box, and you'll find that in my Amazon storefront, too. I'll link what I can from Hobby Lobby, but of course, you know, sometimes they don't have things online and you need to go into your own Hobby Lobby, but I'll link what I can from Hobby Lobby. Um... Somebody asked where I got my, uh, Mar Marlena Perry asked where I got the wreath hanger on the door. Uh, she was looking at the foyer, I think. And I got the, the original one, which they still do sell. I got at Grandin Road. I have one, I did have one linked in my Amazon shop, but under wreath hangers. But that particular, that one is called an antler, uh, hanger and it's not available but there is there are other types available and you can find those in the description box 
of, you know, through Amazon and they're not quite as expensive as what you pay at Grandin Road. Uh, and that is it. That about covers all my questions. I did have a few because I haven't been on too much lately. So I will try next week to, you know, be of course more consistent with my videos. As you know, I told you all earlier in the week, we had crazy busy days. We got both of our, our Outbacks uh, inspected in one day, which took hours, you know, uh, that was on Tuesday, and then uh, Wednesday, we went traveling all over, goodness gracious, God's creation, to, you know, everybody, to three different families that were hundreds of miles apart. <laughs> we're a mess. And then uh, yesterday, I got my hair done. So, this is really the first time I've had a chance to come back and do a little bit of a video. So, I am going to rest for the weekend, trying to rest my knee, and then Monday, hopefully, we'll come back with the front porch uh, reveal and show you what else is going on outside. And then if I can, you know, talk to Chris and he and I can come, can come up with a good idea of how to do uh, my home tour, then we'll do that. Even if he walks around with the camera, I sit in the room and I talk about what he's looking at. Uh, you know, instead of me trying to walk around and hobble around and shake the camera and do all that, there's just, it, it, that wouldn't be pretty for you guys. Uh, either that or he'll take the camera around and I'll do a voiceover. That may be a good idea too. So I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out, but I will get you a home tour. I promise you that I will get you a fall home tour because I can't not do that. That's one thing I do, right? <laughs> all right. I hope that uh, uh, everybody is doing fine. I hope you all have had a great week. I hope you have a great weekend coming up. We are supposed to go visit with Mav on Sunday. We'll see if I can make it. Uh, hopefully so. Hopefully I got, I'm better today than I was yesterday. So I'll be better tomorrow than I was today and so on, hopefully. So, uh, all I got to do is get myself from the car in the house. And after that, I can just sit and enjoy that baby. So hopefully we will get to see him. I hope that you guys get to see your family members, or if you can't see them, I hope you get to talk with them or friends and never forget, never forget before you leave, before you leave them. If you love them, tell them you love them, give them a hug, tell them you love them. Because you never know what the next day is going to bring, you guys. Trust me. <laughs> you never know what tomorrow is going to bring. So make sure you're right with the Lord. Make sure you're right with your family. And make sure all is well before you put your head down on that pillow at night. All right. I'm going to go into my final words. <laughs> Thank you all so much for stopping in here. Again, please subscribe if you haven't. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. Hit the notification bell and share and like please. I would really appreciate it. I loved, I'm only like 20 away from uh, 32,000. I'd love to see me click over that this weekend, y'all. Uh, so let me go into my final words again and say thank you all for stopping in here. And I hope all is well with everyone. And for those of you who might be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around. And I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say thanks for watching and stay tuned. I think I do have a little bit of mischief with Maverick at the end here. Y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.